Let's get started. Very strategy that we've developed called Five Star Sign In Strategy. Seven simple steps to getting five star reviews from customers, guaranteed. And so we're going to show you how we can easily build a list step by step, get reviews from customers on autopilot, and be able to get feedback to get five star reviews. And then we're going to go over some case studies. And in these case studies, we'll reveal how you can literally build your reputation in less than 30 days and introduce you to a beta program and even give you access to help you grow your reputation and get more customers. So here's what we want to do. We want to give you a strategy that can increase your business by up to 19% simply by asking your customers one simple question. And so in our case studies, we'll also reveal the results that we've gotten within 48 hours. 100% increase in online reviews, more importantly, with no additional effort from you or your staff to have to do any work to do this. And the difference between mobile versus desktop strategy. Let's get going. So to start, let's look at the biggest shift in consumer buying in the last 100 years. Let me ask you a question. Do customers really trust your business? Because after a tremendous amount of study the last few years, the question was asked, how many reviews does a consumer look up before making a decision? And astonishing, it's not just a few, it's 10 reviews. So if your business doesn't have 10 reviews online, most of the time, that person won't pick up the phone, won't opt into your list, won't email you to set an appointment. But we even went further and found that how many reviews does it take a business before they are trusted by a consumer? And astonishingly, it was almost the same number between six and ten. So the bottom line is, without six five-star reviews, your business isn't trusted online. And that's what we're here today to solve, to help you be able to build a five-star reputation. Because astonishingly enough, 97% of consumers age 18 to 34 read online reviews to judge a local business. Is there anyone left? You see, what we're looking at here is this unique age group of millennials, but the next group of buyers. And when 97% of them are using reviews to judge a local business before they call, before they send an appointment, before they spend money, your reputation is the most critical thing that you can do online for your marketing and to be able to get customers. As a whole, it's not 18 to 34, but as a whole, 92% of consumers now read online reviews for local businesses. You can see a powerful shift has happened. And reputation marketing, to use the power of reviews, has changed so much that you can literally prove that it can increase a business by 19% by literally just increasing a half star rating online. As a matter of fact, University of California, Berkeley published a result and they studied over 328 businesses. And they found that if you just increase the rating by a half star, you can increase revenues in business by 19%. More importantly, when we ask consumers, when you're searching for a business online, who would you call first? Only 18% said they would call a business that actually showed up in the search results. 27% said, they were offered the cheapest service they would call that. And the majority responded said they would first call the business with the best reputation. So the bottom line is the game of marketing has changed dramatically. And it shifted not to find a company with the best SEO, not to come by the best deal, but they're looking for the most reputable company to do business with. So question. How does a business build the reputation on autopilot? Answer, get your prospects and customers to electronically sign in before you work with them. I, creating a five-star sign-in strategy. So let's take a look at how a sign-in strategy would look in your business. So step one, you would simply have an iPad or a tablet for someone to Sign in when a customer comes into the office. Now, if you don't meet with customers,
customers in an office and you go out to them regularly, you can simply have an iPad or on your phone, have that signing form. And before you begin the consult, before you begin the work, you can simply ask them to sign in first. When they sign in, instantly you'll be notified with an email that that person has actually signed in, which works fantastic for people that are out in the field so that those that are in the office know what exactly the technicians or the salespeople are doing and when they actually show up for their appointment. On top of that, in-house it works brilliantly as well because a lot of administrators sit behind a desk where they ask people that come into the office to sign in. And so instead of having to check the clipboard every few minutes, they can easily be notified at their computer and stay focused on work. Now when they focus on work, they can get more done, but more importantly, when they click on that link, a virtual clipboard will show up for them where they can easily see if they got reviews from that customer, export that list and import it into another program. So they don't have to transcribe someone writing on a clipboard in their sloppy handwriting. They can track when that person came in, they can check off and know that that person already met with the person or got an appointment or already finished their appointment, and they can manage all their contacts inside their virtual support CRM. But more importantly, the customer experience is where you're gonna get amazing feedback. So this works with both Apple and Android. And so your customer or client would sign in. Then a few hours later, they would receive a text message asking them to leave feedback about their experience. Then when they click the link, they would receive a very small mobile optimized page that says, hey, would you recommend this? Yes or no? If they say no, we would take them to a negative feedback page that we would customize with three very important questions. One, what went wrong? Two, who was involved? And three, how can we make it right? And those are three powerful questions that can turn any negative situation into a positive experience. And so by having them sign in and following up with them, you're getting instant feedback from your customer. More importantly, when they say yes, I, like, I would recommend you. They instantly get a choice between the most popular directories that you want them to leave a review on. And what we've done is we built proprietary technology that when they click on Yelp or Yahoo or Google, we first see if they're already logged in. Because if they're already logged in, we can take them to the direct place where they need to leave a review. So they don't have to go to the website, do a search for your company, click on a link, then click on a review us to get an area to leave a review. We can take them right there. So literally, they're only two clicks away on their mobile phone from leaving you a review. The second thing is that if they're not logged in, if you look at their phone and we have a proprietary technology that sees what apps they have on their phone, and if they have a Yelp app or a Yahoo app or a Google app, we'll take them right to the app where they can sign in or where they can actually leave that review. Now the most powerful thing about these two steps is when you leave a review from a mobile phone, it's almost guaranteed to immediately show up and stay because Yelp, Google and all these sites know that when someone leaves a mobile phone review, it's from their phone typically, as opposed to a desktop where they could be on almost any computer. And then third step is, if they're not signed in, not after, we send them to the page where they can log in if they have a username and password or create an account. So the power of this strategy allows them to be only two to three clicks away from leaving you feedback. Now, I want to do a case study that shows you the incredible analytics that we personally develop for every single one of our clients. And you can see here, we have two different strategies. One on the left is an email campaign. One on the right is a mobile campaign. And through just a few beta tests, we were able to get on autopilot without any extra work from our customers or our clients, eight online reviews in seven days via both email and text messaging campaign. You can see that we just don't put a process together. We actually get very detailed in exactly when they open, 
if they clicked, if they left a review, and what review they actually left it on. I want to go into some analytics to show you even greater detail about how powerful this process is that every single person, customer, prospect that you work with, if you create a sign-in campaign, how easy it's going to be to get instant feedback and build a list. So what we found is that over 2,563 people that actually signed in, 1,292 people clicked to give feedback. That's almost 50%. It's astonishing. The secret was, is 90% of them were asked to leave feedback within two to three hours of experiencing the service or product. And so the problem is, is that with most systems, they expect you to get an email list and then upload the email list and then email out. And we're all so busy in our businesses that we probably can't have the time to do that every single day. So what happens is, is the best companies, even the top companies, will take their list at the end of the week and then email out the customers two, three, four, five days after they've experienced. Some even just do it once a month. The key to getting great feedback and building your reputation and separating yourself as a market leader from everyone else is to ask them within hours of them experiencing your product or service. So what we found is that we send them a campaign of text. Not just one. We found that 710 out of the 1,200, almost 54% click on the first text we send them. But this is the power of great follow-up. The second text we send them, 26% click on the link to leave feedback. And the third text, 19%, over 200 people. So just imagine if you would build a system like this, but only send out one text. You'd be missing out on almost 50% of all the opportunity you have to get five-star reviews and feedback from customers. Now, the next thing I want to talk about in the signing form is what directories are the most popular. When given the choice between Google, Yelp, and Facebook, Google went out over 60 7% of the time. Yelp, 19%, and Facebook, 14%. And we've all heard of really big horror stories with Yelp, that people need to get more reviews on Yelp, as well with Google. What well, seems that with this strategy, Google takes care of itself pretty easily. So that's why we created a proprietary technology called our Smart App Strategy. What happens is, is instead of someone getting a choice of what directory they want to choose, potentially choosing Google and not Yelp, what happens is when they say yes, they'd like to recommend us, we can set the priority of them actually going to a directory. So if you'd like to get six, seven, eight, nine, ten reviews on Yelp, that won't be a problem. We'll make Yelp the priority, and when they click recommend us, we'll search for the app on their phone if they have. Yelp app will send to Yelp right away. If they don't have Yelp on their phone and they have Google, then we'll send them to Google. So what we have the ability to do is program the ability for you as the customer to set the priority of where you want your reviews going. And this is literally changing the entire landscape of reputation. So the most powerful part about all this is, is the sign-in form strategy has all kinds of ways that you can use it in a business. One, as we mentioned, it can easily replace the clipboard in signing form. So there are millions of companies right now that are using a 1974 way of signing in where someone comes in and they fill out a clipboard and kind of leave it up to the administrator to try to translate their cursive or chicken scratch. And it really gets frustrating for businesses. But what a bad way to bring businesses, bring consumers in, and be able to clearly ask them questions, and then more importantly, have the data corrected information for them. So now you can also use a sign-in form 
for ways to build a list, like replacing a fishbowl or where people put in business cards, asking to sign in. You can also use the sign out form. There are lots of businesses that have people come in but have a few minutes when they sign out. For instance, gyms. People come in, they don't really sign in, but when they're done, they can sign out. You can also use it as on-site service sign-in. So if the AC contractor or plumber shows up to a home, you can ask them to sign in before the work begins. And three or four hours later, they'll receive feedback so you can know as a business owner exactly the great customer service that you're giving. It's an unparalleled, completely transparent look at how you're growing your business and the great work that you're doing. Sales accountability strategy. So your salespeople that are in the field or in the office or in the showroom, have them sign someone in before they start. You not only get all their information, be able to build that list, but also be able to follow up and see how the salesperson did. A VIP sign-up form. You need a registration form for sign-in for trade shows or meetings or shows. It's also a powerful list building strategy for rollout. The most powerful thing you can do in your business is to make sure you're building a list. And most of us have a list of phone numbers from our clients, but sometimes we don't have the, the right email from our clients as well. And also an enter to win contest. We're finding this a very powerful strategy where once a month a business will give something of value as a client appreciation. But the incentive is for that customer or consumer to sign in. And when they sign in, You'll be getting feedback just a few hours later. So you want to build your business and reputation, and you want to build your business up to 19% simply by asking your customers one simple question. Can you sign in, please? So think of those five simple words. Will you sign in, please? If you incorporate those five powerful words in your business, you will build a list, you will get feedback from your customers. You will build a great relationship with their customers because you know they'll know you care because you're following up with them. But more importantly, you'll get reviews online to be able to build your reputation and separate yourself from the competition. So we have a beta, and I hope you've enjoyed the training so far. Is we really give you an insight into one of the most proprietary processes that we've ever built, more successful process that we built how businesses dominate their marketplace. And so I want to introduce you to what all goes behind the scenes. Because putting the process together isn't easy. But if you were to do this yourself, you would want to build a custom feedback CRM. So you want to purchase some type of a CRM so that everyone that left feedback would go into that and you can organize it all. Two is you want to create a custom sign-in form. So you'd get a developer or you'd purchase some type of web page builder or some survey that allowed you to build a form. Three, you need to connect the sign-in form to an email server and SMS server to so send out text messages and emails that need to be spam compliant. So when you build your sign-in form, you must have the terms of service because one text message that's sent out without getting the proper terms of service agreed to can cost you $500 to $1,500 per text message. So you'd have to connect the signing form with an email and SMS server with all the compliance. And then you'd have to spend the time writing the emails and the SMS requests. And then you'd have to write the email thank you campaign. So when someone left a great review for you, you'd want to follow up with them with a thank you email. And then also write an apology campaign where if someone did leave a good review, that you would also follow up with them and let them know that they've been heard and that you've received their information. And then you want to create a negative feedback page, as I spoke about. So if someone didn't have a great experience, immediately they have the ability, instead of going online and leaving a negative review, they have the ability to get feedback directly to you, where you ask three important questions. One, what was the problem? Two, who is involved? And three, how can we make it better? The eighth thing you'll need to do is install a detailed analytics and tracking on every email, every page, and every SMS text that goes out so you can track the progress and success. 
from everything you're doing. And then you have to manage it. And that's where we come in. Where we manage everything with monthly reports. Now, when we launch this beta, to do all this, it'll be a $1,500 setup and $299 a month. And we'll manage everything. But we have a beta right now in order to get feedback and build our system even better, make it more efficient, be more successful. So right now, if you'd like to take advantage of all this, we have a beta price where we will guarantee you 10 five-star reviews over a 90-day period. All we ask in return is that you give us three referrals, we can get more people into the beta, give us some feedback and your experience, and only help cover some of the cost of getting things set up at only $297. And we'll let you use the entire system for 90 days and guarantee 10 five-star reviews.